Hi there. Today we're going to do a quick example of an engineering project that follows the engineering design process that you'd be able to use for a science and engineering fair project. So you'd want to have your lab notebook and you want to have some ideas of what uh, the problem that you are going to want to solve with whatever you're building. In today's case, we are going to be solving the problem of how to protect an egg, a raw egg, from a fall of uh, 20 feet or more. So we're going to build something that uh, will protect that egg. First, I need to do the research that has to do with gravity, um, products that absorb shock, things like that. And I wanna cite all of that in my laboratory notebook. Then I get to start drawing what I think will work. In this case, I decided that I could use two cups, some cotton balls, and a little bit of tape to try to protect my egg. So I drew it out in my laboratory notebook, how I thought it would work, and then it was time to test. So I took the egg, put it inside here, covered it up, taped it down, and then I gotta take it somewhere high so I can drop it and see what happens. So this could be the top of a porch, it could be the top of a ladder. Just make sure you're being safe if you need to get up somewhere high, like for this one. So I went ahead and dropped it. I've got pictures back here, so make sure you're taking pictures. I went ahead and dropped this one and it broke the egg. And I kind of analyzed to see what had happened and it was that it turned like this. So where I put all that cotton down here in the bottom, the egg actually hit right here on the side and it broke. So in the engineering design process at this point, you wanna go back to your original design and say, what can I do better? So you go back in here and you redraw what you think you could do better. In this case, I decided that since it turned on its side, I wanted to add something to my design that would make it have to fall straight. So I found a bean bag in amongst my supplies, put it on the bottom here and I tape it down so that when the next time my egg falls, the whole thing falls together because it's heavier on the bottom and it keeps the egg straight up and down. So I go and I try it out again. I take the pictures and I see if it protected the egg. And in this case, it did protect the egg. So now I can draw my conclusion and finish with my presentation. So that's how you follow the design process when you're trying to build something. And as you can see, it can be super easy to build something at home using stuff that's around your house. It doesn't have to be too complicated, but you do need to follow that design process. And make sure that you don't do this example. This was just an example to kind of show you how to do it. So don't do an egg drop project, find something else. All right, good luck, thanks.